What's that? He, he went to the uh, Anthony Joshua said today that he's not going to mention Deontay Wilder's name. Just a quick note for, uh, for the media. Nonito Donaire will be presented uh, with the WBC World title belt uh, and, uh, in about 15 minutes. Thank you. Uh, you said on stage that, that you basically uh, listened to your handlers. What was the conversation like when you gave up the WBC belt? I really didn't want to give it up. But he kept saying to me, walk on my mind. kept saying to me, oh, boy, this is the best for us. If we do it this time, that's what happened. It was the worst thing I ever could have done. What do you, do you think, is that an asterisk? Or, or, or do you think that is just water under the bridge? Well, it's a little bit of both, you know. Uh, I mean, I guess it depends on who you talk to, I sure. I know, it's, you know, it's a little bit of both. Now, you were, in, in your heyday, you were, you were I, I believe, obviously more talented than Tyson Fury, but you were the more skilled uh, heavyweight champion in terms of being able to do it all. Right. Uh, do you think Tyson Fury's talent translates in the ring against the Deontay Wilder? Absolutely not. Really? I don't think so. Um, he's tall, but he don't, to me, for me watching me, he don't do much. So, I think, I mean, if I was going on that, would be fat, but he don't, he don't move, he, he don't move. Oh, you still move? Oh, yeah, if he don't oh move, damn. Oh, move. shit. I was about to throw my right hand. Get out of here. You're not going to, you know, if you do, you got to kick in the ball. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell us a Mike Tyson, a childhood Mike Tyson story. So, but, um, I guess I was at the I was at the bench here at Park. He came over to the park with his friends, mm -hmm. and they were saying stuff to me. But Mike didn't know who I was. Oh, really? But as I came back, around, I said, Mike, man, we went to school together. I'm with ball. And he made it. When I came back to that spot, they were gone. Wow, wow. Tell you me have... about the fan man fight. That was my I next was, question. I, was <laughs> I didn't know what to do, man. Yeah. I think the fan man forced me to fight. Um, However, I still thought the fight should have been as well. Mm -hmm. Now, what were you thinking happened when it, it happened? Did you think it was like a... I didn't forward? know, because remember, my back was torn. Uh -huh. I'm watching Holyfield, and if I were to look, hit me on the chin. Mm -hmm. I, was, I didn't want to take that chance, so mm -hmm. it happened the way I guess it was supposed to. So you said you think it cost you the fight? Mm -hmm. You think it cost you the fight? Absolutely, because Holyfield needed to breathe. He needed a little rest. He had mm -hmm. a half an hour rest. I got cold. You got cold. Uh -huh. What I can't understand, if you go back to the fight, look at the film, mm -hmm. how did he get some blankets and things of that nature? And I had nothing. Yeah, no. So they set me up. It was See, a setup. It was a conspiracy. <laughs> See, I got you. Well, he for the gold medal in the United States. And um, I just always wanted, that's the only thing I wanted to play in the future. Why? I don't know if it was because I was managing the team, you know, whatever the case may be, but I felt like if he wanted to fight, with him being the number one contender and me being the champion, if money should have been the issue, he should have felt like he's going to fight you. Mm -hmm. If the money got into the way, he never fought me. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. He could have got his first goal in the court, bro. So mm -hmm. I, I think that's what a fight didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like Joshua and Wilder has could play out similar to how you and Lewis never fought, where it just never happened, and boxing missed out on a, a big opportunity for a big heavyweight fight? Absolutely, yeah. I always move the ball, but it didn't.